A brand new, very cool looking armor set has leaked in Assassin's Creed Valhalla through a really fun way. So I want to go over that and look at some other future items that will be coming. Plus, I want to touch on items that you can already get right now. Maybe you already got them, but I still haven't talked about them yet in a video. So, a lot to go over. If you like that, then a like on this video would really help me out. And let's go. You can win 2300 Helix credits in my new weekly Helix credit pack giveaway by clicking the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win. And you have to be a subscriber of this channel before you enter. I will reach out to the winner via the email. And with those credits, you can for example buy the upcoming new pack when it might release this Tuesday. Although it's more likely that it will release the week after that. But... Yeah, we already know what the pack is because it leaked through a really fun way. I got reached out by Sander via the input at giraffe.com email address, just like you can if you found something cool in Valhalla. He namely encountered a jumps viking with a never seen before armor set. And that's of course the thing, you can equip your jumps viking with any armor set that you've collected. So what likely happened is that someone on PC used cheats to unlock the new pack gave it to his jumps viking that can then appear in any game and then you basically leak the luck of unreleased gear on any possible platform like that is amazing if you played odyssey post launch and watched my videos as well then you might remember that new item packs are always added with new updates but then released at the weekly reset on tuesday so when the timer from red eye hits zero again i think that this new hell pack will be released not the coming Tuesday but the week after that because they seem to go on an every other week release schedule. But yeah, on PC, as we see in videos from Lexar's games, you can already unlock these items because the files are already in the game. And now, for the first time, people on console can already see the unreleased armor pack because of the Jumps Viking system. So while the feature is overall pretty bare bones, it at least gives us a cool look at a new armor set. And Sunder made a ton of pictures with his new favorite recruit, showcasing the new sword and massive molten shield as well that this armor set has. But the helm in particular is what makes the set awesome. I'm kind of getting Sauron vibes, but this armor is of course also really comparable to the Underworld set from Odyssey that we actually also got really soon after launch or the Nightmare set in Origins that also came really early after launch. So I think we know Ubisoft's strategy from now on. Release a cool lava armor in the first month after release. Lock it in. And if we go back to Lexar's games, you will find a link to his channel, by the way, in the video description. We can actually learn more about this new pack. It namely sounds insanely strong. It's called Hell's Damnation and with two items equipped you increase your armor when a weapon is ignited but when wearing the full set you actually get health on hit when a weapon is ignited. And Lexar does not inspect the items so we don't know the health value that you get when like hitting with a weapon but i'm gonna say it i think this set will completely break the game like having your weapon ignited with the fire strike ability is insanely easy and it lasts for like 15 seconds so then you constantly get health back on hit and can after that immediately activate the ability again like it seems like this set will just unlock a super easy mode at least from the sounds of it i will of course review it when it finally releases we can also look at the stats of the weapons like the Suater sword and Suater and I hope I pronounce it right is a fire giant of course in the Norse mythology and this weapon gets extra attack when ignited so works together really well with the armor set maybe a little too well and the shield is called Muspel's wall that creates a small fire around you after blocking five times so that seems to be comparable to the Sarcophagus shield that I showed you in a recent best weapons video. Only with this shield it has a chance to trigger it on a parry instead of 5 blocks. And to be fair I think that the parry might actually be better. So curious if the small fire that appears with this new shield will be different. But again I will of course highlight it and show it in action when the pack comes out. And it also comes with a new wolf mount by the way. Moosepool Wark. So they of course grabbed the deluxe edition wolf and put a lava armor on it. And remember when I said that the iron jar armor was like cool because it just came out. But then it will just not be as cool as other packs we will likely get in the future. And then I was referring to stuff like this. Like this goes like beyond that what we got with the Einerjar armor in my opinion. And yeah also a new wolf mount is 
cooler than like sort of the blood horse that we got. The bird skin is by the way a phoenix. So a flaming bird we can move around pretty cool too. Alexa also briefly shows the new navel design that looks okay-ish. Again I will highlight this pack way more when it comes out. And let's then also hope that this wolf mount can appear at Reda. Because that would be a nice get for 150 Opal. And speaking of mounts, many people who ordered the Collector's Edition got reached out by Ubisoft and received a special mount because of an issue with the track list of the Collector's Edition. That you see right here, it doesn't look quite alright. And this shot is from Access the Animus. Luke reached out to me via the input at Drafter.com email address with extra screenshots and some footage of this new Varangian mount. And I hope I pronounced it right with the iPads that look quite cool. And things like this are usually exclusive for some time. But I totally think that at one point the mount will just be like available for free for everyone. Kind of like the Ubisoft Connect rewards, like Bikes outfit from the Hidden Ones DLC. I think it looks quite awesome and as far as I know this is the only outfit in the game with a hood without a cloak. The sad part is though that it's only available if you watch that reveal stream of Valhalla. Maybe you watched my live reaction of that 8 hour long photoshop presentation. At that point it wasn't clear that the reward would be Bayek's outfit. But yeah it sadly is and I say sadly because I want everyone to get this outfit. If you missed the photoshop presentation that was like pretty boring actually then yeah. I don't know when you will get it, likely later on, but it might take like half a year. And the same is going on with that Moonlight X, by the way, that was a reward for watching the Ubisoft Ford stream. It's pretty good. It increases heavy damage by 20 when at 90% of your health and up. So I totally hope that more people will get it later and not only the people who watched a stream and then linked their Ubisoft account properly. For me, it just like appeared randomly in my inventory because if I go to the Ubisoft Connect section, it still says that these items are locked, weirdly enough. But you can already get the other Ubisoft Connect items and totally do so if you haven't already and got the points that you earn by doing like the special challenges that you can also of you in the menu. The mount is pretty unique, it's a horse with a skeleton body like painted on it. Pretty cool. Remember where in Origins you had to complete all the Discovery Tour tours for a white Senu skin in the main game? Well now you can just get it for 60 units from the Ubisoft Connect store. But the bow actually has some cool combat use as well. It's the Spartan bow, likely a nod to Odyssey, although it is a light bow, which was of course not in Odyssey. But the effect is 30 extra crit chance on a dodge. So when you just randomly dodge, as I do right here in the settlement, you will see the icon appear for 2.5 seconds and then have a 30 extra crit chance. Good to know though, and some people already figured this out, 100 crit chance is not 100% crit chance. Jordan from It's Jordan Does said on our weekly It's a Street Valhalla podcast that you should totally check out if you haven't already. I will link to it in the pinned comment. That like 100 crit chance is around the 25%, even a little less than that. So really weird. Either way, 30 is still quite a lot. And if you like me, Dutch all the time, anyways, then this bow is pretty fun to toy around with. Like even as a passive effect when using it for example with daggers. I dodge to close the distance and then have the extra crit chance. And really with the rapid attacks I have quite a lot of crits appear. It changes your playstyle up quite a lot. So totally get the bow if you haven't already. And subscribe of course for way more Valhalla content. Got a ton of content planned. Really a lot of stuff that I still want to cover here. So Totally subscribe if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And totally check out my previous video on some secret changes that Ubisoft added with the most recent update. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.